Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. It is time to warm up our voices, so please stand up. Make sure that you have plenty of room around you so that you do not bump into anything. Remember, you shouldn't be leaning on anything. You should be standing up nice and tall with your feet slightly apart. I wanna hear your best singing voices. Here we go. continue working on composing rhythmic patterns, but this time we're going to use food. 
to represent our music notes. So let's get started. Do you know what this is? It's a pie. Can you say the word pie? Great. I would like us to clap our hands and say the word pie together. Hands up. Ready, go. Pie. Hmm. Let's do that again. Ready, go. Pie. Well, how many times did we have to clap when we said the word pie? Once, that's right, because pie has one syllable. Pie. Can you do that with me? Hands up. Ready, go. Pie. Wow. So our pie makes one sound per beat. Pie. Could we clap four pies in a row? Try with me. Hands up. Ready, and pie, 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 pie. Wow. The word pie, that sound, is one beat. How about that? We learned all about one beat last time. Let's look at our next food item. Hmm. Do you know what that is? I'll give you a hint. I ate one for lunch. That's right, it's an apple. It's a red apple, and I ate a red apple for lunch. Let's put our hands up and let's clap the word apple. Ready, and apple. Ooh, that sounded so much different than pie. Let's do that again. Ready, go. Hmm. How many sounds did we have to clap to say the word apple? Do you know? Two? Let's, let's try that one more time just so I can hear those two sounds. Ready? Go. Apple. You are right. Apple makes two sounds because there are two syllables. So apple has two sounds per beat. Apple and pie has one sound per beat. Pie. Wow. Now I know we did this with pie already. We clapped pie four times. Could we clap apple four times? Hands up. This sounds like it's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's try it. We're gonna clap apple four times. Ready, go. Apple, 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 apple. Wow, that was fantastic. Now, I have an idea. What if we take the pie and the apple and we mix them all up and we try and create a rhythmic pattern from them. Oh, look, I happen to have a few extras right here. Let's see, I'm gonna start with um, apple, apple, pie, pie. Ooh, look at this rhythmic pattern. Apple, apple, pie, pie. Okay, I think that we could play this, right? We could clap each of these beats and say the word? I think so, hands up. Here we go, let's do this together. Try not to go faster or slower. Ready, and apple, apple, pie, pie. Wow, that sounded pretty cool. Remember, apple has two sounds per beat and pie has just one sound. Did you notice that when we played the pies, it actually sounded a little bit slower? That's what it's supposed to sound like. Uh, let's try this one again, just to be sure that we could play it. Ready, and apple, apple, pie, pie. Wow, you are amazing 
at reading and playing rhythmic patterns, especially with food. Let's mix them all up again. Um, Ooh. So this time, let's look. Do you think you could play it with me? If you do, hands up. Here we go. This time we start with pie. Ready? Go. Pie, apple, pie, apple. Wow. That sounded fantastic. Let's do that one again. Ready? And pie, apple, pie, apple. Wow. This rhythmic pattern sounded completely different from the first one that we just played. We have the same um, food. We have two apples and two pies, but they're just in a different order. Wow, music is really cool because you can take the same notes and you can mix them up and make all sorts of different music. Let's do one more. Oh, wow. Are you ready to play with me, Anza? One, two, ready, go. Apple pie, apple pie. Oh, this one made me feel hungry. Let's play it one more time. Ready and apple pie, apple pie. Wow. You are doing an amazing job reading and playing these rhythmic patterns. Now I'd like you to go into the Music Seesaw classroom and find the activity Apple Pie. In this activity, you are going to compose a rhythmic pattern using apple and pie. Now remember, you are the composer. So today, you can take your apples and pies and you can put them in any order that you want. So you will click and drag them into the order that you want. After you have finished composing your pattern, you have to practice it. Now remember, there are two sounds for apple and one sound for pie. But that's not all. After you have practiced your rhythmic pattern, you have to go find someone who is near you that's helping you with remote learning. It could be a parent, a teacher, um, a babysitter. It could be a sibling, anybody who is where you are at. And you are going to teach them how to play your rhythmic pattern. Be sure to tell them that the apple has two sounds and the pie has one sound, and you are going to have to teach them how to play it. Then I would like for you to record yourself and your helper playing your rhythmic pattern. I hope that you enjoy composing rhythmic patterns with apples and pies. Thank you for joining me.